Hello friends, today I will show you how to connect your 19C pluggable data or Oracle 19C pluggable database with your data grip IDE. So let's assume that we have already successfully installed Oracle 19C Enterprise Edition in our laptop. How to do that? Just open your command prompt and type in here SQL plus Now if, if in your PC the Oracle 19C is installed properly, something like that will come. Okay, let's give me my password. Now you can see that in my laptop, the Oracle 19C Enterprise Edition is successfully installed. Let's minimize it. And now let's download the DataGrip software. DataGrip is a JetBrains software and uh, why DataGrip? Because I personally like it. Uh, now friends, one disclaimer, it is not a paid video. I simply like uh, DataGrip as my SQL IDE. You can use anything like uh, Oracle already uh, by default SQL D developer is uh, comes with that 19C package. You can use that. That is a free version, free IDE. And you can use any any one of your choice, but I personally like DataGrip, and uh, that's why I'm making this video, uh, how to connect my pluggable database with DataGrip. So let's download the uh, exe file. To do that, just open any uh, any one of your browser, and uh, type in here Google Data Grip. Now there is no community version for this. It is only a 30 day trial version. I am going to download that. Let's open this. And it is available for Mac, uh, Windows, Linux. So click on download. It will take some time and uh, yeah, uh, now it has come. Uh, now click on the save file uh, to download the exe file. Uh, I will cancel it since I have already downloaded one. So cancel it and let's minimize the browser. So here is my .exe file. I will click on it. I will um, click on run. Click on change the destination folder. You can give it any one of your choice. Like I'm gonna change it to my E drive. Here I'm gonna make a, a new folder called data grip. Okay, so I'll click on it click on ok so here is the path for me now click on next uh, don't forget to click on this create as associations with SQL so click on this and uh, to add this as a uh, in the in your system variable path you have to click on this okay just click on this and uh, one thing guys if you are clicking on this add launchers directory to the path, you need to restart it after the installation process is completed. Now click on next. Uh, click on install. It will take some time. In the meanwhile, let me check what is the pluggable name of our pluggable database. Uh, so to do that, Again, I need to open my command prompt. Uh, I need to write this command show pdbs. Uh, so, this is my pluggable database name. And open mode is read and write. Uh, guys, one more thing if it is not mount, if it is not open, then it will come as mounted only. 
so you need to open that pluggable database so my in my case it is already in open state right so i will minimize it and let's see whether it has got installed or not now I want to reboot it manually later uh, you can reboot uh, as as long as your installation process is completed right now click on finish now open the data grip just write data grip that will open uh, for the first time it will by default show as do not import settings i will go with it click on ok now I will evaluate it for free. So click on this radio button and click on evaluate button. Guys, uh, here uh, one thing you can notice that uh, you can uh, choose theme of your choice or you can skip, you can click on this skip remaining and set defaults, right? I will choose this Darkula theme and I will click on database option here I, I will choose uh, my choice of database which is installed in my laptop as I have already told you that it is a cross cross platform IDE it can connect with several databases like Amazon Redshift, uh, MySQL, MySQL server like, like this so I will choose Oracle here itself and start and click on start using database or what you can do you can simply click on skip remaining and set defaults so I will click here it will take some time for the first time now click on close uh, now I will click create a project new project say something like this demo project okay this window itself. Uh, here, minimize this. I need to click on this database tab. There is a database tab on the left hand side of your screen. So click on this and click on this plus sign. And click on, after clicking on the plus sign, you will find one data source tab. There, you need to click there and you will find the name of the databases which you want to connect for my case it is oracle i'll click here now uh, guys this local uh, name name sorry the name can be anything like it's of your choice i will give something like this it can be anything now next thing I need to change is the connection type make it click on this SID just click on this SID and I will make it TNS now the TNS admin name now what is the TNS admin name it is the name of the path where your TNS names dot ORA file resides like this this is your TNS admin name path actually it is the place where your db home resides under the db home you will find one folder called network under network you will find another folder called network and within this admin uh, sorry uh, network within the network folder you will find admin folder and within admin folder you will find this file names name is uh, tns names dot ora file right so i will copy this And simply paste it right for your case this e drive can be anything you need to check where your db home lies in your pc right 
and what is your TNS name? Now you will find your TNS name name inside this file inside this particular file TNS names .ora. So let's open it. So open your command from uh, sorry 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 test name. Open run menu. Simply paste that path. Yes and TNS names .ora. Open this file with your notepad or notepad uh, notepad plus plus or PSPad. Now your service name is this. Whatever your service name, you need to copy it. Simply copy it and paste it in the TNS name. Simple. Simply copy your service name and paste it in the TNS name. Rest will be as it is. For the first time, while you were installing it for the first time, uh, there will be uh, uh, some missing driver file you need to download and it is for a one time purpose. So click on this download and allow system to download the required files. guys it will take some time Done. Now, guys, I will connect it with my user which I have created under my pluggable database. For me, it is OT and I will provide the password which I have given for this user. It can be HR. You can use uh, if your HR user is unlocked under this pluggable database, you can use that also. So, this is the thing, and now you need to test the connection. Uh, see guys if your pluggable database is open then this message will come just pay attention if your pluggable database is open then this message will come otherwise system will give you one error that your pluggable database is not open in that case you need to go to your uh, command prompt and run this command alter database name your pluggable database name open like this see for my case it has already been open since uh, th that's why it is it has given an error if your pluggable database is not in read and write mode then your pluggable database will open okay so in my case my pluggable database was opened hence the connection was a success right now I, I will click on apply and I will click on ok done I have connect, successfully connected one user with my pluggable database through data grid now the table has appeared just see the table has come And this is, uh, guys, this is a one-time setup. 
now let's write one query and check whether it is working properly or not now click on this play button yes it is working perfectly fine now one more thing guys uh, you can connect other skimmers to this user also how to do that just right click on this user and then click on this properties now simply click on these skimmers right and from here you can collect, uh, uh, connect other skimmers also like for me I, I'm gonna connect SH I'm gonna connect HR like this and then simply click on apply and then okay again it will take some time mm. you can check here yeah. just check just just a click here and you will find all the all the scanners which you have just now connected right so that's all guys that's all for today hope you have liked this video if you liked it please click on the like button thank you very much